the best short films for lifelong learning, recommended by teachers for teachers. This is Short Films Teachers Love, with your host, Richard Lee. This week we're looking at films teachers love from the perspective of a student. I want to start with this one, Remember the Titans. Oh, 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 oh. What was that, Ray? Whatever it is, it ain't blocking. Give me a break. You want a break? I'll give you a break. Me and Julius. Wait a minute. Let, let, just let, let them in. You get to Listen. rev once, just one time. I swear to God, I'm going to hit you so hard by the time you come to. Ooh, boy, you're going to need a new haircut. You understand me? <clears throat> <laughs> Let's play, fellas. Oh, Here's the ball. Let's run it again. Let's go. So it's about racism, and it's that something that I can't comprehend at all. To me, it's just ignorance. I remember it being a film that even, like, the naughty kids sat and watched. <laughs> like, they, there was no chit-chatter or anything like that. It, it really got people's attention. One of the scenes that I absolutely love from it, it was a lot of it was just one of the coach's reactions and his reaction to seeing two young boys not finally not care about the colour of their skin and kind of push that aside and realise, hey, we're just humans too. It doesn't matter. And his face reaction, oh, it just blew me away. It was so much compassion and amazement. And I think he got a little glassy-eyed as well, so it was quite <laughs> impactful for me. Yeah, yeah. I've sat in a room full of teachers and said you know tell me your short film and, and a lot of people would say well actually not so much short films but um, this particular clip of a larger film so there's definitely something to be said for you know the standout moments in longer films but I, I'm you know I think that's also sometimes hard work for teachers to then go okay that was the film but now I've got to find the right bit to show you know there's some time, yeah, exactly. time effort involved there yeah definitely yeah. and it's it is really hard to take it out of that context. But I know that I've, um, particularly at uni because I studied film, that I had a class where they often only showed clips and they chose the clips so wisely and so carefully that it actually did kind of make you understand exactly what the teacher was trying to say. Mm. Well, let's move on to the next one and this is um, 12 Angry Men and that's the original 1957 version. 11 guilty, one not guilty. Well, now we know where we are. Boy, oh boy, there's always one. <laughs> oh, what are we doing now? Well, I guess we talk. Boy, oh boy. You really think he's innocent? I don't know. I mean, you sat in court with the rest of us. You heard what we did. The kid's a dangerous killer. You could see it. He's 18 years old. Well, that's old enough. He... He stabbed his own father four inches into the chest. They proved it a dozen different ways in court. Would you like me to list them for you? No. Then what do you want? I just want to talk. And tell me when you saw this in school. This was year 12 legal studies. Um, so I was a lot older here. And it would be one of my favourite films of all time. And I remember seeing it and just being amazed by it. And because we had to watch it in two sittings as well, after we watched the first half, I actually went home, got it, and then watched the second half before the next class because I couldn't wait. <laughs> you cheated. I had, yeah, I had to know because the film, and even like well, like you said, it, like it was made in 57, but I think it still stands up and just everything about it to me is incredible. Mm. You know, I've been on jury duty once and you do, you kind of, you kind of opened up to, wow, you know, it's just ordinary people who have ordinary jobs coming together and making big decisions about people's lives, you know, and that's what it brings to life, doesn't it? It's great. And I think that is one of my favourite things about films is that it does take you into other people's worlds and the different realities that you never really would understand or see otherwise. Like, you can read it in a textbook, but you see it on the screen. It captures you. Fantastic. Let's move on to the last film that you mentioned. Uh, this one's called Jesus, Children of America. Oh. Fuck you gonna do now, Blanca? You ain't gonna do nothing. You was not gonna do nothing. That's, do something now. Come jump now. 
What you gonna do? Yo, her parents got the eggs. Don't get no blood on me. Your parents got the eggs. You want them egg, baby? Shut up, you stupid two-faced bitch. You don't know nothing. <laughs> bitch! Now, you mentioned that you watched this in a class at uni about scripting. So, uh, you know, here I guess we, we're thinking of uh, for, for teachers using film to study the form and structure of filmmaking itself. So tell me what you learned about scripting from watching this. It is incredible to see. I find realistic dialogue the hardest thing to write. And I think all the shorts that I've ever made, when I look back on it, the thing that I'm like, oh, why did I write that? Why is that line in it? Um I guess the realism of it, he really captured it and it seems like I guess I kind of learned that you really need to research what you're writing about um, or understand the people that you're writing about and I always find that if you're, you know, want to write about a particular person, find out, make up their likes and dislikes, create a completely rounded character so you can know how they'd react to this and how they'd react to that. In all of these films that you've chosen, and and I know some that you've made yourself, you've always had a strong sense of social justice and, you know, righting the wrongs of of the world and standing up for the less fortunate and those sort of things. And I think teachers, you know, the world over want to inspire students with good moral values, you know, to be decent human beings who contribute positively to the world. So, So my final question about all your films is what... What tips would you have for teachers about choosing great films that can do this? I think films that kids can relate to. So if you're teaching Year 9s, try and find a film with Year 9s in it because if you can relate to something or a person and you see them treated poorly and then you see their reactions to that, like if a child is bullied and you see them going home and crying or consider something like suicide, that makes you think, I never want to bully one of my fellow peers. I never want to be the person that causes someone to feel like that. And I always think you've got to have a good story, a captivating story and something that can inspire you. And I've got like a whole list of films here that I think have that meaningful message and it just And they're the ones that my entire life I've gone back to and thought that's something that's really stood out for me. Thank you so much for taking the time to think back to all those films and find the links, etc. but also for taking the time out to talk here. See Joe's list of films in the description below or join our growing Facebook community of teachers to find short films for your class today.